Hey, what's up guys? This is Prapit and today I'm going to be going over a small tutorial on how to use the manual mode in the Rebel T7. I'm telling you guys how to use this camera in manual mode for photography. So it's a pretty simple tutorial. Follow along. I'm going to make it really simple, really short. So hopefully you guys can tag along and pay attention to the details and start shooting manual photography with your T7 once you purchase it. In this video, let's start with turning the camera on, switching the dial to the manual settings. Once you are there, you basically get this screen where you have an M at the top left, and then you have your shutter speed, aperture, ISO, um, and then you basically have your lighting dial, um, and then basically you have color, uh, auto white balance, other stuff, flash up, manual focus, and then you have your focus metering, whatever, and then the files format. So um, let's not talk about everything here. I'm just gonna stick it with um, the basics at the top. We have three of them. Uh, you have shutter speed, aperture, and then you have your ISO. If you're using kit lens, your aperture in the middle, the F9, it's basically going to change around a lot of the times. So on your screen, the aperture will actually change if you keep it to the minimum. So for example, if we're at like 18, um, it will be something else. And then if you're like at 55 uh, millimeters, you're Aperture is going to be something else. If you don't know any of these um, keywords, comment them down below. I'll explain what they are. But this is aperture. Shutter speed is basically how many um, fractions of a second your shutter is open for. So basically there uh, we're allowing more and more light to come in or less and less light to come in to capture the moment faster or delay it however that is. So on the left, that's shutter speed. And on the right side, we have ISO, which is kind of like a digital meter on how um, your image is going to light up the shot. So ISO 150, whatever, that's the lowest. And then it will have like a highest amount that you can go to. Um, so basically those are the top three options for your whole photos. So if, for example, if you want a sports shot, uh, I would like to keep, you know, aperture around five to six. And then my shutter speed on the left would be, let's say, probably over 200 because your objects are going to be moving. So you want a faster shutter speed, maybe keep it at like 300, 400, um, that'll be really nice. And then on your lens, you have two things, stabilizer on, off on the bottom. You wanna keep that on on because every single time you're taking a picture and for example, you're like, breathing or something, which you probably should be if you aren't, go see your doctor. But uh, if you are basically breathing or your heart's pumping or whatever, um, you basically want this heart uh, stabilizer on so that you can you know, get a stable shot and your picture basically doesn't look blurry in sense of motion. There's no motion blur in your pictures. And then at the top, you have autofocus and manual focus. Sometimes you may have focus uh, problems with the camera on autofocus. So you might wanna switch this to manual focus. There you can basically rotate this front ring right next to the, basically the lens cap comes here. Uh, it, up here, you basically rotate this guy around for manual focus and you can lock down your manual focus. Uh, you have to be careful though, sometimes you may not be right. Sometimes your item or your subject basically may move in position. It may change your focus distance. So your actual subject might not be in focus because it moved or you moved or something happened. So always keep that in check. But those are the things right there. We have to press the Q button that enables the selection. Uh, so you basically use the AF ISO white balance and this left button to move around like you would in arrows. So up, right, down, left, uh, to move those things around. So Q and then move it around and then hit set. And then you can like change around the aperture, shutter speed or your ISO to adjust on the lighting. So whatever you choose, you just press set after that and it sets it to whatever the settings you chose. And then once you go down, you finally have color options. I wouldn't say add any image effects. Um, that's just really lame. <laughs> Go do that in Lightroom if you really want to. But uh, the auto white balance is probably where you want to keep it mostly. But if you already know your um, circumstances of the day, for example, if you're working in daylight, cloudy or in shade, um, you might want to adjust to wherever situation you're at. Uh, if you're not having the right colors, use it this way and, you know, turn your um, white balance however you want it otherwise you can go to custom and you can move your custom dial around and you know basically change it from there um, which is really nice on every single one of these actually you can press Q and once you're there uh, all you basically have to do is move this top dial around and you can change the settings instead of having to go in and then fix that as well so those are 
quick little tips on how you can you know change these guys around and just play around with them um so this is it for today's video this is how to shoot manual mode on your canon t5 uh, it's a pretty simple tutorial if you guys have any questions please make sure to ask them in the comment section down below obviously you know these are the similar settings on a lot of these um, different modes that they have so you can change it around you can go to auto mode you can go to any of those and basically go from there but this is probably it for today's video if you guys enjoyed it please make sure to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out